In this lesson, we're going to be evaluating rational exponent expressions. So that's going to be something like this. So what you do is the number 49, it's the same as 7 times 7, right? Which is the same as 7 to the power of 2. So I'm going to rewrite it as 7 to the power of 2 and then v6 like that. Now, if I gave you a3 to the power of 4, what would you do with those? Well, well done if you remember that you would multiply them. Don't add them. So now you're going to do the same thing. You're going to write it as 7, and then you're not going to change the 7, just like you didn't change the a. See how you kept it as a? You didn't change it. So now that it's a 7, don't change it. So just multiply 2, multiplied by 3 over 2, and then do the same with the v. Okay, and now if you had to multiply these, you'd see that those would cancel. And so let me do that in a different, let me actually write it over here. So you see that's at the top, that's at the bottom, so they would cancel. And then the V, um, six, six divided by two. I mean, you can do this in so many different ways, uh, but if you had to work this out, you're gonna get nine. So that would be V nine, and then this would be seven to the power of three. Um, and so, 7 to the power of 3, you could leave it like that, but if you wanted to work it out, you could just go 7 times 7, which is 49, and then 49 times 7. If your teacher expected you to work that out, you could try to work it out, but it should eventually give you 343 v to the power of 9. Here's the next example. So I would change this to 5 times 5, which is 5 to the power of 2, and then x to the power of 4 to the half. Now we use exponent rules, so we're going to multiply those two together. But we keep it as a 5. So 2 times a half, well that's just 1. And now we're going to multiply those two together. And that's just going to be 4 times a half, which is 2. Here's our next one. So 36 is the same as 6 times 6. That's going to be 6 to the power of 2. And then we've got n to the 4. And then we have this. So now what we do is we're just going to take that, and we're going to take that. And if you had to multiply those two together, you're going to end up with a 3. So you just say 6 to the power of 3. And then if you had to do these two, you would end up with n to the power of 6. Now, if your teacher expects it, then 6 to the power of 3 is 216. And then you could just say that. Here's our last example. So the number 243, I mean, that is a bit of a tricky one. But I mean, as you practice these, you start becoming familiar with some of the numbers. So 243 is the same as 3 to the power of 5. And n5, we're just going to leave it like that. Now what we do is we just multiply these exponents together. So that's going to give us 3 to the power of 3. And then you do the same with those two. And that's just going to give you n to the power of 3. And so 3 to the power of 3 is 27 into the power of 3.